Hello from the World Series in Kansas City. I'm Ross Jernstrom along with Greg Ortiz. And Greg, this series is not the way the Kansas City Royal fans had hoped it would be. They fell behind five to nothing, yeah. and it never looked good for the Royals. Yeah, it was really all about that first inning. Uh, James Shields came out. They didn't live up to the big game James nickname. Almost got out of that inning. Uh, things were looking good. We were thinking one nothing, but then uh, Hunter Pence hit that two-run home run with two outs and never really got back into it after that. One of the key plays in the game, I thought, was in the bottom of the third inning. The Royals had loaded the bases, and up to the plate comes yeah. the hottest hitter in the Royals lineup, Eric Hosmer, mm -hmm. and what happened? Just wasn't a good at bat. I think he swung at the first pitch, yeah. grounded out to second base, and really never challenged uh, again after that. So it was basically San Francisco got the big hits like Pence. Royals couldn't get the big hits tonight. One thing I noticed is that San Francisco, they're used to the World Series. They're very much uh, an experienced yeah. team. They've been in three of the past five yeah. World Series. And you could just sense that uh, they were calm and collected. Uh -huh. And maybe the Royals were a little too excited yeah, for game one. It might have been a little bit too big of a stage for these Royals. I mean, none of them have have ever been in this situation. It hasn't hurt them the rest of the playoffs, but the World Series is a different beast. The World Series is not a, a wild card playoff. It's not the League Championship Series. Every one eyes in America is on you, and, and it might have been a little too big for them, but now that they've experienced it, hopefully they can come out tomorrow or tonight and, uh, and, be, and be calm and be relaxed and play like they know how to play. Well, Royals fans should not be disappointed because back in 1985, 29 years ago, the Royals lost game one and game two here in Kansas City, but came back to win the World Series in seven games. So there's still hope for this Royals team, and we've seen them come back. Yeah, we've seen them come back. I mean, they were, that wild card game was the best comeback I've ever seen. Yes. So if they can do that, being down one nothing in the World Series is nothing. These guys can do this. They do need to win. Uh, they do need to win Wednesday's game, though, or else they might be in a little bit of trouble. You ready for game two down here in the series? Yeah, we'll be here, ready for game two. Game one was a lot of fun. My first World <laughs> Series. It's fun. It's electric. It's just a fun atmosphere. Good, yeah. good, good time. It, you wouldn't believe how many yeah. people you know and you've seen in the past and in the stars that are here tonight. Well, for Greg Ortiz, I'm Ross Sternstrom. Thanks for joining us on Facebook. We'll be back with game two on Wednesday night.